This is activity one, which holds more. And this is an estimation activity. And I'm going to make a point. I'm going to go over that during this um, part of the lesson. And it's representations of linear relationships. So the first part of this activity is to show you this video. So you're going to take a moment, watch the video. Okay, so the question is, which of these glasses holds the largest volume? And which of these glasses hold the least holds the least volume? And what you're going to notice is that the height doesn't help you out. This is the tallest, but doesn't hold the largest volume. And this is the shortest right here, but doesn't hold the least volume. So as you measure the volume of these containers, so you're going to dump this one out. And then pour this one into this empty container. Now, if I stopped right there, maybe right about there, well, I went a little bit too far. And if I put this back down, if I measured, if I had poured about half of this container in, this would not fill up halfway. So this height, in this case, is um, actually this holds a lot more volume than this container. Let's just leave it at that. So this holds a lot more volume and this holds less volume than that glass. So now if I dump that out and dump this volume into here, you're going to see that they hold essentially the same amount. All right, so a couple of things to notice. As this container gets filled up, oops, let me stop that. As this container gets filled up, right here is a curve. And so as you're adding more height to it, you're adding less volume per um, unit height. And as you get to this point, right here is straight. So as you add more units of volume, it is increasing essentially at the same height. So that along here where it's straight, the um, volume that you add is proportional to the height of the cylinder. Over here, it's easier to see if you just look at this one. This is clearly has no relationship to the height of this glass. The volume that it holds is unrelated. It's not proportional to the height. And if you just cut this in half right here, because of this bulb-shaped bottom, this holds a lot more volume than the top of this. So if you fill this up halfway, the amount of volume that it holds is much more than half the container. And that's the point. You need something other than height to tell you what the volume is in this activity. Okay, the point that they're making <clears throat> in this video is that the volume in these containers only B is that volume proportional to the height in that what that means is that you can measure the height and you can tell what the volume of the container is because the volume is proportional to that height of liquid in the container. Um, that's not true for these other two. And we'll get to the point of this in just a moment. So if you measure the height and the height doubles, that means that the volume has doubled for B. But for A, that's not true. It is true just within this small portion right here because it doesn't curve out or doesn't curve in and then out and then in and then out like it does up here or down here. But just in this section, does the, the volume change proportional to the, the height of this space right here, but that's the only place that is proportional to height. In other words, that's the only place that the volume in this container, um, actually, I'm sorry, that the height of the liquid in this container gives you an idea of what the volume is. And that's really not true in this last container. There's no place in this container where you can get an idea of the volume based on the height. So if you just look at halfway, so this is halfway, this is half the height, there's much greater volumes. You can't tell what volume is in here. You can tell it's much greater, but you have no idea 
exactly what it is, but there's a much greater volume in half the height of this container than in the top half. So the bottom half has a lot more than the top half. So you need some other way other than height to measure the change in the volume of the liquid in the container. And that's what activity two does for you. So you need a, a way to look at some, the change in something that's going to give you an idea of what is the change in volume. In other words, you're looking for something that is proportional. So you're adding something to the container, you're doing something to the container that is um, proportional to the volume. And for activity two, what they do is they use marbles. And so we're going to see how they do that next.